Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra and not just any Tundra. We have one right here with a lift and bigger tires. This newly redesigned Tundra is the epitome of Toyota's attempt to make more American vehicles geared towards off-roading and adventures. It's been a hot topic and I'm really excited to show you guys this one with some of the first modifications on it. So today we're going to be doing a walk around of this truck. I'm going to show you guys the suspension lift that was done. But before we start, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Westcott Designs for first of all, letting me come and visit their shop. And second of all, of course, letting me see the all new Tundra up close. Westcott Designs makes all sorts of armor and adventure ready accessories for your vehicle like sliders, roof racks and tire swing outs you name it plus they are an awesome shop out here in phoenix arizona where you can get work on your truck or your vehicle done i just took a shop tour and these guys are so detailed in their craftsmanship we literally saw a guy checking products with a black light to make sure there were no imperfections so you guys know that they're the real deal anyways check them out if you're interested they also have a youtube channel that i'll have linked down below and i'll have all of their information linked down below but now let's take a look at the 2022 tundra I thought it'd be really fun to take this Tundra on the dirt while we do a walk around of it. But I will say this isn't going to be a super, super in-depth walk around because A, I really want to show you guys the lift and the wheels and tires on this truck and some of the modifications. And B, it's kind of my first time in person really getting a good look at this truck, seeing it in person. So I myself am getting familiar with it, but there are a lot of other great videos already here on YouTube that walk around the 2022 Toyota Tundra that I'll have linked in the description so you can check those out if you're interested but I wanted to mention that in case you guys thought I missed some features while we walk around this thing. Now I've heard a lot of different opinions of what people think this Tundra looks like but in my opinion this newly redesigned Tundra kind of looks like a larger third gen Tacoma or maybe a slightly oversized Tacoma. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with my YouTube channel, I own a 2019 TRD Off-Road Tacoma, so I'm coming from that perspective. But anyways, I'm really a fan of how Toyota designed this truck. I love the way this new gen looks. Toyota hasn't redesigned this Tundra since 2007, until now, of course. So there's quite a lot of new features and things that Toyota has added to this truck. This truck's trim level is an SR5. It does not have any TRD packages, although it does have a couple TRD accessories. For one, there's these ruggedized side steps that mount to the body of the truck. If you could tell, these are ruggedized so that you won't slip and they're much beefier than what I've seen from Toyota before. And of course, they've got this awesome TRD branding on them. Not only that, but this truck has another TRD add-on. As you can see, it has the front TRD skip plate, which is really useful if you're out here on the trails. This specific Tundra is in the color blueprint. It's this very dark blue, almost black color. I love it. It's bold but subtle at the same time, and it's a brand new color in the Tundra lineup. It comes with the word Tundra stamped into the grill. It's got integrated fog lights in the grill. And like a lot of newer Toyotas, it comes with Toyota Safety Sense. So there is a front garnish or essentially a front sensor. But what's really funny is on this Tundra, unlike my Tacoma, Toyota wrote the words, do not paint to make sure the customers know don't paint over your front sensor. Also with this new redesign, Toyota also had to redesign the headlights. So these new headlights have a sequential turn signal, which looks really fancy. Speaking of the headlights, if we come to the back here, these taillights are also completely redesigned. Also not available on this trim, but I've seen from other videos that you can touch the side of the taillight and the whole tailgate will actually come down. This is not available on this specific SR5 trim though. Something that I like that Toyota has done is they've innovated this rear bumper to make it a completely separate piece. Not only is this a really good safety feature, but it's also great for people who want to replace their rear bumper. Instead of cutting their bedside, they can just remove this whole piece. And then like the front grille, 
this tundra on the tailgate has the word tundra stamped in bold right on the tailgate now if you get a trd pro you'll get the big letters that say trd and pro but since this is the sr5 trim you're gonna get tundra stamped much larger than it was in the previous gen on the tailgate Something else that Toyota has done is that they've moved these lights actually to the back side of the bumper so that if you're towing something and you're looking through the camera, you're not going to get so much glare. Rather than a physical handle that you'll have to pull yourself, there's actually a hidden button under here that you push and that releases the tailgate down. Of course, it's dampened so it falls really nicely and the first thing you notice about this Tundra is it's got a composite bed. Although I wish the tailgate cover was a flat surface so that it didn't hurt to sit on. What I like that they've done is that they've integrated some cool things like these little cup holders and cutouts where you can actually use your tailgate while you're out adventuring. And in case you guys didn't know, this is the Tundra. We've got more branding over here. This Tundra is actually taller than the previous gen, so the body sits a little bit higher. Now this is a lifted truck, so this is actually where it sits from the factory, and it does have larger tires. But Westcott Designs measured the height of this truck before they did their lift, of course, compared it to the previous gen Tundra with a lift, and this truck was still taller. So you guys, these trucks are getting bigger and bigger. Let's take a look at the interior of this truck because quite a bit has changed. First up, if you're short like me, something that's nice is that there's a grab handle on the driver's side. Now, of course, again, we do have the TRD side steps, but this grab handle is extra nice. Something I really like is that they're very tactile switches so that when you're driving, you can kind of feel around for what you want. And I really wish my Tacoma had switches like these. It looks like there are a couple blanks here. So for this truck, you could add on some extra accessories and wire them up over here. These are pretty much all your controls. Now you do have a lot more on the steering wheel and a couple down here by your side. So if you're switching into four wheel drive, I'm not sure how it was in the previous gen. In my Tacoma, it's a little dial but now all you have to do is push down and pull back to get into four high or four low there's also this very sturdy looking knob with these like fake screws where it looks like you could change between your drive mode and tow haul the one thing that i personally right now at least don't like is that you have to subscribe if you want to get navigation now of course this truck does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So while I haven't played around with it, I'm sure you could just use that instead. But if you want to actually get navigation that's built into the truck, you have to subscribe. Other than that though, I love the new head unit. It's super responsive, super simple. I like that all the controls are on this side. There's not too many buttons. It's really intuitive. You can get to your phone, your music, information about your vehicle, whatever you want very easily. Now, in terms of space, let me preface this again by saying I'm coming from having a third generation Tacoma or the latest generation of Tacoma. And of course, the Tacoma is a much smaller truck than the Tundra, so it's going to be more spacious and it totally is. Now, I'm only 5'5", so I don't really have space issues in either truck, but this truck feels so much more roomy. The back seat's got a lot of space. There's all this extra room for little pockets where you can put your phone and stuff in. And on each door, there's this padded near the bottom of the window which is really nice for resting your elbows i do love the extra space that full-size truck provides and the tundra does not disappoint it's very very comfortable in here So this Tundra has an independent front suspension. It's got coils in the rear, just like the Land Cruiser behind me. Although you can upgrade, I believe with this trim to air springs if you want. When Westcott Designs got this truck before they lifted it, they measured the height all around. So in the front, from the center of the wheel to the bottom of the fender, it measured to be about 21 and a half inches. And in the rear, it was about 23 to 24 inches. However, right now it's actually got a three inch lift in the front, a suspension lift, which is done by using Westcott Design's preload collar where they're putting preload on the spring. So it's not a spacer lift at all. This is going to be much better performing off-road and you're not gonna lose ride quality. So again, three inches in the front and then the rear's got one inch to completely level out the truck. So you can see a glimpse of the preload collar they put on this coilover to give it that suspension lift. Something else interesting I wanted to show you in the front suspension is if you can tell, 
this spindle is now fully aluminum. The wheels on this truck are Method 312s. They're in a bronze finish, which matches the blue really, really well. I love Method, and about a month or two ago, I put a set of 703s on the 2020 TRD Pro Tacoma I'm building, and they look absolutely good they perform so well the tires are bf goodrich ko2s another favorite of mine i have a whole video review on those and they're in the size 315 70 r17 so they're not a true 35 but pretty beefy big tires on this thing i will tell you guys westcott designs when they had this truck for a little bit put 37s like true 37s on this truck temporarily although the customer requested that they put closer to a 35 inch tire on this truck because while the 37s didn't rub and you can check out the westcott's designs video if you want to see that more they were a little bit close and the 35s just fit better especially if you're going to do some off-roading so as you can see i have the tires turned and there's a ton of room here in the back and we also have no issues up front with this size tires so this size works great on the tundra with a three inch lift in the front and a one inch lift in the rear. Now, as I was taking a closer look at this Tundra earlier today, and I was asking Jeff at Westcott Design some questions, like why you can't cut this piece right here to get better clearance. And he actually said, this is something that's a safety feature. Basically what it does is it deflects the tire away from the passenger in the event of a crash. So you can cut this piece, but it completely voids the warranty because you're losing that safety feature. However, you can cut some plastic along this front end here if you experience rubbing. Although, with these size tires, there is no rubbing whatsoever. Now, if you guys are curious on what this Tundra costs with some of the add-ons, I do have the sticker here with me, so let me show you. So like I said, this is an SR5. I forgot to mention, but it is a 4x4, which is really awesome. It was assembled here in the USA, in Texas. MSRP is 47 gram, which I actually don't think is that bad for a 4x4 full-size truck. But with everything included, this dealer had it listed at 52 grand. This truck is sold. I don't actually know how much it's sold for, but this was the sticker in case you guys were curious on that. So you guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. I hope it was a fun one for you. It was really, really exciting for me to see the brand new 2022 Tundra, especially one, like I said, that's all built up and lifted. Huge, huge thank you to Westcott Designs for letting me come out here, film this truck, give me a shop tour. Again, check out their channel and I'll have all their other information linked down below. Of course, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on this new Tundra, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I should get one. But other than that, if you want more content from me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there, and I was posting all about this Tundra in real time on my Instagram stories. But anyways, thank you again for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.